Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom. I'm here with you on Sunday to do the All Signs Sunday reading. I'm going to do it a little different today to help it get through YouTube quicker um, when it uploads it. So I'm going to separate it into the four elements. So I will start with, we're still in Scorpio season, so I'm going to start with the water signs. And in one video I'll do Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. And then I'll do the other signs on other videos. So I'll have four different videos and have them broken down that way because I think they'll get up there quicker and I won't get stuck in um, the middle of the night trying to get this to you on a Monday instead of on a Sunday. So for today's reading, I will be using the Lightseer deck. I will be using the My Way Tarot. And I'll be using the Gilded Tarot, and I'll use a different one for each sign. And I'll be starting with um, hmm. Let's we will do the um, let's do the. Wisdom of the Oracle for our opening energies. And we will use, I think I'm going the right way. And we will use um, Sacred Destiny to wrap up our energies, okay? So to start out of water signs, um, you should know that on the 24th of the month, um, we will be having um, Astilium, and this is when three planets come together in one sign. And the interesting thing this time around is that all the fire signs are coming together in Gemini at 24 degrees on the 24th. So that makes for some interesting energies there. And let me just see one thing. Look at my calendar here. I want to give you the dates for this reading. I should have grabbed them sooner. So this will be the 19th today into the 26th. So we're doing the 19th to the 26th. So this will cover Thanksgiving and then on the 27th we have a full moon. So the 19th to the 26th, the next day, the 27th, is the full moon in Gemini. So it's going to be a busy week with this stellium, with Thanksgiving, and then the full moon. So let's see what we have for the sign of Scorpio for the 19th to the 26th of November. I've already called in my spirit guides. Can we see a card for Scorpio? 19th to the 26th spirit, please. Scorpio. Oh, that's more than one spirit. Okay. Okay, for Scorpio, our opening energy is round and round. So Scorpio, you may be in some cycle where you're just slowly climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing. And you think you're going nowhere, you're in the same cycle, but actually you're moving forward in a very um, deliberate way. And soon enough, you're going to get to the center or get to the top. Okay, just keep moving forward. Okay, for Scorpio, we'll use My Way Tarot. Spirit, can you show me a few cards for Scorpio? What's going on for Scorpio in the coming week, the 19th to the 26th? Okay. 
Okay. Bottom of the deck for Scorpio is the star energy. So Scorpio, you may be um, in some healing right now. Um, you may be getting some illumination or you may be having a wish come true or making a wish. Okay. Okay, Scorpio, wow, you had a pretty crazy uh, reading here. Okay, so first we have the Queen of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Lovers. So you could be in the energy of the Queen of Cups, or you could be moving towards a Queen of Cups. Um, this could be somebody from your past who you feel warmly about, comfortable about, loving about. And then we have the Lovers. So this could be a, a past lover that you're thinking about or wanting to move towards. Um, uh, lovers is also about a decision. Um, so maybe you'll be making a decision about something in your past, moving towards someone. And then the next two cards we have out in this first row is the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So this is someone who's guarded, right? They're holding on to their resources. They may be aligned spiritually and with their mission in life, but they're holding on to their resources very tightly. They're not letting energies in or energies out. They're very protected. And still we have the um, Nine of Wands, and that's a, a more um, passionate way of grounding and protecting oneself. They're just the, the um, boundaries are there, right? This person is holding their ground. They're not letting anyone in or out that, that they don't want to be part of their life. We go to the last row and we have the Eight of Swords. So this is somebody that's very stressed and up in their head into the Page of Cups, which is someone who delivers a, um, a message of love. Pages are messengers. So they could be delivering, um, you know, an apology, um, a small how you doing, what's up kind of greeting with you. This comes with the Ace of Wands, which is passion and excitement, desire behind this offer and then we have Archangel Michael there I'm not sure which side is better <laughs> to view this on then we have Archangel, Archangel Michael here with patience coming in and then we have the Ace of Cups so we have Archangel Michael on either side of these aces, and aces are all about potential, right? Potential in life. So you have an ace of cups and an ace of wands coming with this little page. Okay, Scorpio. So Scorpio, this is either your energy that you're going to be bringing to somebody, or this is something coming towards you. But with the ace in the cup, you know, with the the Lovers, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. You know, the Queen of Cups is all about love, right? She is love. So this may be a past love uh, situation that you're returning to, Scorpio. We're thinking about. Okay, Scorpio. So it looks like you might have some love coming into your life or you're going to be making a love offer to someone let's pull out sacred destiny and see what comes forward for you
card for Scorpio, please. Okay, for Scorpio, the card that comes out is Patience. So Scorpio, maybe you're on the receiving end of this love offer and Spirit is reminding you to stay patient and focused on um, yourself in this situation that there's some nice energy that's going to be coming your way in divine timing and to stay patient, okay? So it looks like that um, round and round and round thing is about to come in, okay? So stay patient, Scorpio. All right, let's move on to Pisces and Scorpio. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. All right, now we are on to Pisces. Pisces, we will use the Gilded Tarot. All right, let's get a card for Pisces. Okay, Pisces popped out right away. This is a 27 card, which goes to a nine, and this is exchanging gifts. So you will be exchanging your gifts with someone. Um, these could be your spiritual gifts. These could just be a nature of who you are. You're going to be sh uh, sharing your gifts and talents with someone, or you already currently are, okay? Okay. Spirit, can you please show me some cards for Spices for the week of 19th through the 26th? Okay, spices. <laughs> so, did you hear me say spices instead of Pisces? Could I have two more for Pisces, please? For Pisces. <laughs> Pisces. So let's get to yours. Okay, our first um, two energies are the Three of Cups and the. I have to put my glasses on for these cards. The writing is so hard to see. Three of Cups and the Eight of Swords. So, the Three of Cups is an energy of celebration, um, coming together, um, communication, and then we have the Eight of Swords. This is somebody that's stressed out and up in their head. Then we go into the Lovers. Maybe they're stressed about making some decision about communicating. And then we have the Star Energy here. And the star energy is about healing, um, illumination. Maybe something will be illuminated for you, Pisces, so you can make a decision here. And then we have the two of swords. So this is, again, making a decision like the lovers, um, a direction to go in, um, maybe moving towards someone, Pisces. Okay, down into the bottom row, we have Judgment into the Ten of Swords. So that's some serious. We have the Eight and the Ten now into the Hierophant. And the high um, Judgment, obviously, uh, Ten of Swords is the end of this cycle. It's over. You're not going to experience anything worse, Pisces. And then we go to the Hierophant, and this is our 
our conduct, our morality, um, how we carry ourselves out in the world. It's a spiritual energy. It's how people perceive you. It can be uh, authority, um, hierarchies in work or in school. Um, it could be um, law issues, legal issues, those types of things. But generally, it's just a person who um, conducts themselves with a lot of integrity. This might be somebody you know, or this might be who you are. And then we have an energy of the Six of Wands, and this person is... Where's my glasses? Um... Now, this is the Six of Swords, and this is an energy of somebody moving away from um, all the crap in their life, right? All the chaos, all that kind of stuff. They're moving away from it. And then there's a communication of the Eight of Wands. So this could be some incoming um, information to you, Pisces. Um, some fast moving. Maybe it's travel that you're moving out fast. Um, or maybe it's that you're going to be communicating to someone quickly. So that's what we have for Pisces. So Pisces, it looks like um, you've got a couple of decisions to make here um, in the coming week about, um, my guess is around a love situation and communicating. Now, the lovers, that could be even, that's some type of a partnership, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be love. This could be ending a work commitment, a friendship, a family situation, or a love situation, okay? It looks like you're a healing one here. And perhaps that's why we have exchanging gifts, right? Because we're healing. Okay, so can you please show me a card for Pisces in this coming week, Spirit? Okay, Pisces, you got openness. So Spirit is saying to you, keep your heart and your mind open in this current environment, okay? Obviously, your um, or someone associated with you is making a big decision in their life. And keep your heart open. Keep your mind open. Keep your soul open to this, okay? All right. Pisces, I think you're going to have a pretty interesting week ahead. And I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with family and friends. Okay, next we are going to go into Cancer. So let's shuffle up. Spirit Cancer for the week of 19th through the 26th of November. Cancer, 19th to the 26th. Answer 19th to the 26th, please, Spirit. Okay. Bottom of the deck is Yang energy. So this is masculine energy that's around you, Cancer. So for Cancer, we have a 28, which is a 10, which is building blocks. So we can see here, Cancer, that you've been... Um, building something one block at a time, one step at a time, one action at a time, and you're having success. You're, whatever you're doing, it's growing. Okay, we'll go into Light Seers for Cancer. Spirit, can you please show me cards for Cancer the 19th through the 26th of November? Cancer.
for Cancer, please, Spirit. Okay. Bottom of the deck for Cancer is the King of Swords. So you may have a King of Swords in your energy, Cancer. Okay, let's start out. First out is the Ace of Wands and Judgment. So you may be passing judgment on a um, creative or passionate situation in your life, Cancer. Then we go into the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. I think, um, did Scorpio have very similar energy? I think so. <laughs> um, so our Four of Cups is somebody who could be spiritually aligned, right? But they're holding everything close to the vest, right? They're not sharing much. And then the Seven of Wands is somebody who's in a bubble. They have themselves protected. So Cancer, maybe you're like in your shell a little protected right now and protecting yourself and your, your abundance. And then on the end, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this may be the energy you're in, Cancer. Um, a grounded queen, loving, giving, um, creative, passionate, grounded, um, disciplined, intentional, protective. Okay. And you can kind of see the same similar energies here, can't you? Even the way they're holding themselves, right? that um, this may be your energy right now, Cancer, pretty protected. And in the bottom row, we go into the Three of Cups, which is um, a get-together, a celebration of some kind, girlfriends getting together. This can also be a sign of communication. And then we have the Three of Pentacles, and this is an energy of collaboration, working with somebody, coming together to mend something, like they're doing right here in this picture mending this tapestry that's here and um or it could be coming together in business to build something okay then we have the ten of pentacles into the four of wands so this is the um you know the highest you know this is when you've arrived right you have um the two and a half kids, you have the dog in the yard, you have the nice car, the nice home, the great job, life is good, and then you're, um, you have stability and security here. So this is something you're working towards cancer, you're working towards this um, ten of pentacles and four of wands. And then on the end of the row, we have the Knight of Cups. So being a Cancer, you could be this Knight of Cups. So this could be an energy coming towards you with the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Cups delivers a love offer. So that's what we have there. You know, and he's well prepared there, right? He's got the whole picnic set up and he's ready to maybe send an invitation to you. Okay, Cancer, it looks like you could have um, have some type of a, um, somebody could be contacting you and asking you out or approaching you in some way, okay? Be on the lookout for that. And let's get a higher energy here for Cancer. What do we have for Cancer? In the coming weeks, Spirit Cancer. Okay, bottom of this deck is focused. Um, I can't say this is just a reminder to stay focused on your, your dreams and, um, 
the things you want in life, keep working towards it. And your card is embracing. Embracing, embracing peace. This looks like very peaceful um, energy here where this um, swan is, right? She's just peacefully watching the sunset fall on the pond she's in. So that's a peaceful energy, and I think you're maybe um, embracing peace in your life. Okay, Cancer, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with family and friends, and it looks like you may be having somebody reach out to you in this time period, okay? Maybe you'll get asked out on a date or something like that, and you're going to have to use your judgment and intuition on whether or not you want to do that. Okay, water signs. That is your reading for this coming week. I am going to take a minute and for all the water signs, we'll pull from the sacred forest. So, spirit for cancer, Pisces and Scorpio, can you please give me a few cards for the coming week? What can they look forward to, the water signs, in the coming week? Okay. Water signs. It looks like... You're going to be transmuting some issues in your life over the coming week. You're going to be going through a passage of the standing stones, right? And this is kind of like um, enlightenment or ascension spiritually. And you have a spirit of generosity um, going on in you. That's really beautiful, water signs. Yeah, water signs. Okay. All right. There you go. Beautiful week for water signs ahead. All right, I'm going to end it there. Um, I hope you all have a beautiful Thanksgiving, okay? Take care, water signs. Bye-bye.